Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Now, probably a lot of you are new to my channel. My channel is usually not about Hot Wheels, it's usually about um, politics or some rapping I do from time to time. But I have acquired a love for Hot Wheels, and so I'm going to start sharing some of that on here with you guys. And uh, today I thought I would review a couple new cars that Hot Wheels has put out tell you what I think of them. The first car I'm going to do now, this is a daily struggle obviously of do you open your cars, do you not, do you keep them in cases, do you keep them loose, what do you do with them, right? Well for me, the cars I really like, I can't not open them, I have to open them, um, like the car culture cars. And stuff like that because I like to touch them. I like the real rubber tires. I like to, you know, push them right along and get a feel of them. I like to play with them. And now some of my the generic cars that aren't really special, but I like them. I don't care about pushing them. They all feel the same, really. Some of them are faster than others, but I mean they all kind of feel the same. The plastic wheels and all that, right? So I'll keep a lot of those in their cases like I have um, a lot of the the J imports I keep those just in cases and, and it's basically a matter of storage for me I also have um, I don't have very many but I've got a treasure hunt here a treasure hunt here and a super treasure hunt here and I keep those in cases as well for storage the super Part of me wants to open it so that I can push it, feel the rubber tires. But the collector part of me doesn't want to open it because I want it in its case. For storage, safety, keep it good. I don't really care too much about the car. I was surprised to find a Super. Um, so I may just keep it like that for resale or to pass on to my kids because it might be worth a lot of money by then. So today the cars I'm going to review aren't in their cases. I've thrown them away. The cases are gone. Um, the packages. But the cars are brand new. They're put in sitting on a shelf. So they're mint brand new condition. They're not old. I just got most of them that I'm going to show you. And so, yeah. Without further ado, let's check them out. The first one we're going to do is the Acura NSX GT3 from the Car Culture Series 2022 that they've just put out. Here's the car, okay? It's a metal body with a metal base. It's got the real rider tires, a gold five spoke or bronze five spoke uh, real riders. Very nice. Uh, it's got the, the black and red tampos with the fully detailed grill and headlights. Um, it's also got the vent on the hood is painted a nice black. We've got clear plastic windows. The side windows have a slide vent incorporated into the glass. And it's a clear plastic. And the back window is uh, plastic, black plastic rear louvers. And it has got the, uh, you know, the body kit on the back. And it's got a nice little spoiler on it. It's got the, the full tail lights. It's a little blurry. It says Acura with a nice Acura emblem. I wish I could get a little better uh, focus on it for you, but my phone is not amazing. But it has nice detail to it. It really does. The car has a nice feel to it, right? It's, um, it's got that thick feeling because of the clear coat, I believe, that they put on them. And it does roll really nicely um yeah i will show you an example of how it rolls in just one minute here okay as you can see it rolls rolls quite easily um no problem at all zooms right on by it, it's really quiet it's got a nice sturdy feel there's not a lot of play in the wheels Overall, Hot Wheels did a good job on this car. Um, all right. The next car we're going to do 
is a Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX. All right. This is the car right here. Okay. Now, what they did with this car is they've got a mostly, I would say, it's like gray blue with a little speckle to it, paint with some black tampos. Um, nice little lip guard on the front, painted black. The headlights appear to be actually uh, 3D plastic, not a sticker or paint. Same with the little grill emblem in the middle. This is not flat. This has texture to it. it the headlights do pop out a little bit. The grill also does. Um, they get the blinkers. Very nice. Everything looks nice. It's got the real riders. Looks like some chrome five spokes. Um, low rider. The car rides real low. Don't mind my kids. They're showering together. They, they always have fun. Um, the rear. It's got... The tail lights are painted. Everything is nice. You got the orange for the marker lights, red for the brake lights, and all that. You got the, the Nissan Laurel emblem on the trunk. And I really do like the the graphic on the side. It's just plain and basic, but nice. And this right here, I believe it says 2000, um, what was it? 2000 SGX is what it says, but you can barely read it. It is written really small, and it says it also right here on the trunk which i can't even right on this side i can't even barely get if you can kind of notice the red dot but it, you, it's really nice in person and and legible with the right light <laughs> but this car also is very nice it's got a nice smooth feel to it it's thick and it rolls really well just like the nsx and i will show you how that rolls it rolls just fine. It'll run away on you. It's nice and quiet, smooth. There's not a lot of play in the wheels, so there's not a lot of back side to side travel. It's just nice. It's got that heavier feel to it. It is a metal body with a metal base. They did a good job, I think. Okay. <clears throat> the next one I'm going to do, I picked up this weekend as well. Um, I really liked this one. I actually had a hard time opening this one, to be honest with you, because it is a nice one. And I thought this might be special in the future, but I did open it. And it is from the car culture. Um, oh, geez. Now I can't, it's not, it's not haulers. Um, I can't remember what it is exactly, but if you'll notice, you've got the nice fleet flyer, I believe that's what it is, no, aero lift, sorry, it's the aero lift truck, basic truck, they have this in a couple different colors and formations, it's got the real rider tires with uh, just a solid, almost like an aluminum rim with some spokes going on in there, um, yeah, it says Nismo on the tank here, and Advan in front of it on the other tank, same on both sides. It's red with yellow tampo stripe down the, or yellow racing stripe down the center of the hood. Also right here on the grill. It's got, uh, the headlights are the same plastic material as the windshield. The grill is metal, maybe painted. Um, it has got the marker lights. It has a metal base and a plastic body with a, it's a metal base with a metal body with plastic. And it's quite nice. Um, no tail lights or anything. It's quite nice. But that that's not the draw out of that set. It was this car just because it is, it is really cool looking. Okay, you got the H, HKS on the side. You got the real rider tie uh, wheels. They went with a yellow five spoke in the back and a red five spoke in the front with a chrome ring. Uh, very nice. I like the way it looks. It is a metal metal base with a metal body. Um, the spoiler spoiler is plastic, black plastic spoiler. Uh, the windshield is clear plastic. It is a red car with yellow flame tampos. 
yellow tint across the front window with a yellow racing stripe. It says HKS Advan Nismo on the hood. With the graphic of a turbo charger in the middle. The rear, same thing, Advan Nismo. Okay, and it says, um, boy, I can't, I can't really read it too well because it's so small. The HKS on the license plate with the Nissan emblem, but this is a Nissan Silvia. Okay, and it does say Silvia. All right, so this is a Nissan Silvia, and again, I just really like the style. Um, the grill is metal. It is. There is depth in there, and it is black. And I'm going to say it's probably part of the base. The black metal behind there is part of this base. And it's very nice. This car has very little play in the wheels. Side-to-side -side play. It is also very solid feeling. Um, it's got that thick paint feel from the clear coat. And it does roll quite nicely. Rolls just fine. And it's quiet, solid feeling, straight in its roll. And I believe Hot Wheels did a really good job on that one. Um, good job on them. There are three trucks in the series, three haulers. And I did pick them all up. The next one we're going to do is going to be the Ford. Okay. This one here, I also like. I think it's really cool looking, the, the car and the truck, to be honest with you. Okay. What we have here, let me change how I'm holding it for you. We don't want to drop it. But what we have here is a Ford hauler. This is a new casting, and it is cool. Carrying a Ford, um, what is that one again? Yeah, the Ford 65 Ford Galaxy. This is a casting that is pretty popular in Hot Wheels. It is the treasure hunt that I have behind me right over here, the yellow one. This one has some nice steelies that are chrome. Um, real tough muscle car look to it. It is a metal base with a metal body. Clear plastic windshields front and back. Nothing on the side with a black plastic interior. It has got uh, real rider tires. And the rubber on these actually does say Goodyear on, on the sidewall. And it is a blue car, I mean a white car with blue tampos and a blue racing stripe down the middle. It says 427 cubic inches on the hood with hood pins. The grill is metal, part of the base. The bumper is also metal, part of the base. The rear says Ford. The bumper is metal, part of the base. Racing stripe with pins holding the hood down. The side of it says hooker headers, Ford 427, and there's some other emblems. They did a really nice job on this car. This car rolls really nice, and it is uh, very, very smooth. It's got a solid feel and a good thick feeling to the paint. Again, because it's probably got the clear coat from the premium model. And this is its hauler. It has some very nice real rider tires, five spokes, really big in the uh, back and in the front, same size. And I like that five spoke and that big chrome. Looks really nice. Now, it is a white truck with blue tampos. The body is metal with plastic and the base is metal. This does flip like this to this. The idea is you can put a car in here as well as on top, although it doesn't fit very well with the stock car that comes with it. Uh, it says Goodyear, hooker headers, and Ford along the side. And it rolls very nice as well. They did a very good job on that one. And last but not least, this guy. Oops, sorry. <laughs> this guy. This is uh, Mercedes. This is the Fleet Flyer right here. And it's got some steelies in gray plastic. Uh, they're real rider tires with the real rubber. This truck is pretty basic. It's not very detailed. Metal base, plastic, and metal body. Uh, plastic clear plastic for the windshield nothing spectacular on it no labeling of any sort on the truck whatsoever but inside the back of the truck here where the door flips down out out comes this car here that came with 
this hauler. This car looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. It's got a five spoke, what it looks like to me, maybe a aluminum rim. Plas it's plastic, flat gray, uh, numbered 48. Uh, Jones Vander Vate or something, I don't know what it says, AMG Mercedes. There's a lot of detail in this car. It is pretty cool. There's some weird fog lights on it, some cool designs. It's a metal base with a metal body, clear plastic windows. There is a roll cage on the inside and a black or a gray plastic interior. The tires have tread on them. They are not smooth. And the muffler is plastic, same color as the interior. The tail lights are nice, nicely done. Everything's there. It says AMG on the license plate. And it rolls really nice. They got the silver trim painted around the windows, everything on this car. They got the windshield wipers painted silver. It just really good detail. 48 on the hood. And it looks very nice. Yellow with black tampos, black stripes. Very nice. Good job, Hot Wheels. So, if you were thinking of getting the newest car culture haulers right here, this one, this one, or this one, I highly recommend them. If you can, if you can pick them up at your local stores, your Walmart, or wherever you may find them, I recommend them, along with the... Nissan Laurel, very cool car, very cool, and the Acura NSX, very cool. All right, if you want to hear me do a review on my car culture with all my pickups in this hauler, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll make another video if you guys like this one, and maybe I won't if no one does, but see you guys, keep collecting, and... Find those Hot Wheels.